What's going on everyone? This is Game Galaxy Zone. Welcome to today's FGO news. I believe this may have dropped last night. I just did not notice it until right now, which is kind of odd because I could have sworn I remember playing through Fate but not seeing anything, so I must have just not been paying attention. Anyhow, so this is a bit late and I apologize, but we're going to go through it because there is a pretty cool piece of information to talk about and this is actually some pretty big content coming. So, the 9 millions download campaign is going to be coming out. We're going to be checking up the pickup summon gotcha here first. So, this one is basically the same exact one that came out during CCC in April of last year, roughly May actually, um, except the banner is for Kiara and Passionlip. When the banner came out for that, it was for Passionlip and Meltalith. I don't know if Meltalith is on raid up with this. We'll find out here in a second and go from there. So this campaign will start on the 24th at 20 hundred uh, PST. The 24th being this upcoming Monday. And of course you can check out all of the raid ups that are here. So along with Kiara and Passionlip, Emmy Alter and Suzuka Gozen will be on raid up as well. So if you guys are looking for the chance to pick up an Alter Ego, this is a great chance to do so. Uh, Kiara and Passionlip, mostly Passionlip, will not be on Raid Up again until April, actually pr around this time next year, March actually. So if you didn't get her before, now's a good chance to, but you will have a chance to get her again in the future. Uh, Kiara a bit more limited, she can only show up either right now if you want to go for her or on limited banners, uh, which there is one coming up this summer that she is on. So you do have a chance to get her there if you wanted to, but if you're looking to get her right now, it's a good chance to. She's also getting a interlude upgrade, which we will talk about in a little bit. Uh, I believe it's for her first skill. I'll double check on it when we look at it at the moment. So there is the banner pool on that. We'll take a quick look at the rank up quest. Unfortunately, I meant to pull up the page on this, but... um. I do remember some of these, so I can go over them. I am kind of curious as to why they listed the last one as a secret question mark. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Meltalith. I'm, if I remember correctly, both of them are up on that. Unless they were going to add something extra to this without knowing. So the first day is going to be Kiara. It's not mentioned yet. The second day, I believe, is... Uh, trying to remember, and I can't... Give me a second, I'm actually going to look these up real quick again. I did remember them, I just can't think about it offhand. Okay, so these are the servants that will be getting a rank up quest with this, and I'll try and go down and remember these as best as I can. So for the most part, we have Kiara getting an upgrade to her first skill, which uh, decreases arts card resistance to an enemy. The second is Maria Antoinette getting a Noble Phantasm upgrade, I don't exactly remember what it does. Um, Sherazade is getting, I believe, a flat upgrade, plus maybe an extra bonus as well. Elizabeth Bathardy Lancer is getting an NP upgrade, and she is also getting an added effect. Carmilla, I believe, only gets a complete damage upgrade, but uh, that affects her Noble Phantasm. Martha gets a NP upgrade that increases her Buster card attack for one turn, and I believe it is 20% at start of uh, her Noble Phantasm. Metalith is getting her skill upgrade so that her third or whatever skill this one is, I can't remember where it is in the listing, um, gives her NP strength for two turns, I believe, instead of just one. So this gives her a bit more versatility to play around with some skills and stuff. Everything that is coming with this rank up quest is really, really good. So a bunch of fantastic new added effects and buffs for servants that definitely need it right now. So, and these will be coming out from the 24th, and one will be releasing each day up until the 1st of March. And last but not least is to talk about the actual 9 millions download campaign itself. Nothing too huge here, just the normal million download campaign uh, with half APs, super successes, um, events and stuff, uh, daily logins, things of that nature. However, there is one thing that is nice that we will get to. So the 9 million download campaign login bonus, you can see it here day one through day seven. Uh, you'll get a bunch of materials each day you log in, including 10 summon tickets on day seven, which is always nice. 
pseudo singularities will be half AP for the uh, main time. They will not uh, affect free quests though. The main quest AP will be one fourth, which is pretty nice. The exchange for rare prism shops will be adding three CEs. These two CEs are from last year's Valentine's Day, so if you did not get these, they will be in the shop now. Along with Caldea Standards, which I guess is just an experience CE, possibly. It's kind of odd <laughs> that they're adding it to a rare prism shop, but it is what it is. You can check out how you're supposed to do that here. You're going to pay rare prisms in exchange for than mana prisms and the CE itself. So the biggest thing that is getting tweaked is the Master Missions Reward update. So Saints Court's Fragments will go from two to three. Uh, so instead of getting only two of them for doing a mission, you'll actually get three, which means it increases the number of courts that you can actually gain from these. Uh, something that I'm really happy that they're doing. It's been in JP for a while, and I've been curious as to when it would be coming to NA, and it's finally here, so this is really nice. This apparently will be coming on the 1st. It will not be coming on the 24th, so uh, this is probably going to be changed when mid-update or weekly updates roll over. But do know that you will now get three Saints Quartz Fragments, so instead before it was 21... Now it'll be, actually no, it was 24, it was 14, my bad, wow, I can't count today. It'll now be changed to 21. I was thinking of 4 for some reason. Of course, chances for super and great success for EXP and servants will be increased, and the rank up quest for servants will be half AP as well. So that is quite nice. Uh, it does not say that it affects interludes and daily quests. It'll just be rank up quests, so just keep that in mind. And that's basically it. Just a quick rundown of the 9 millions download campaign. A couple of nice rewards, small tweaks to the Saints Court fragments that have finally come out, and some limited servants that'll be on raid up right now. So definitely take the chance if you're interested to go ahead and roll. If you do, good luck to you. And make sure to keep logging in for those bonuses and to also upgrade those servants because those interludes are very, very good for them and are much needed. So that's all I have for this. I will see you all in future FGO content.